Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about text tracking in DaVinci Resolve, and we're going to learn how to make something that looks like this. So let's get into the video. We're in DaVinci Resolve 16 beta here, and I'm going to show you how to track your text to an object in your footage. The first thing we need to do is select your clip. And I've got my clip selected here. I've already got my in point and out point selected. And I'm gonna drag just the video because I don't care about the audio for this particular clip. I'm gonna drag just the video down into my timeline. Next thing I wanna do is just click on my video and I'm gonna come over to the fusion tab, which is this little magic wand looking thing. Click on the Fusion tab. Now we're in the Fusion tab, and like so many things in DaVinci Resolve, there's more than one way to track text in your video clips. So I'm just gonna show you one way here that works in this particular clip. You may need to change things or do things a different way for other clips, but here's one way that you can do it. So the first thing that I wanna do is add in a tracking node that will track me as I walk across the screen here. So there's a few ways you can do that. You can press Shift Spacebar, and that'll bring up your uh, tool selector and you can type in tracker. And you see you have a few different kinds of trackers. And in this case, I'm gonna use this tracker on the bottom here. I'm gonna click add. And you see it adds the node down here. And if I wanna drop it right in between the media in and the media out, I can hold the shift key and it pops it right in there for me. So I'm gonna click on the tracker and then I wanna see it on the left-hand screen here. So I'm gonna click on the left-hand button here. So I can see my trackers here and that's the little tracker point. So I wanna move the video ahead until I see myself start to poke out from behind the weeds a little. So I can see right here is me. So I'm going, I wanna move my tracker on top of my head so it'll track my head as I walk across the frame here. In order to do that, you can hover over top of these little points here. There's a little point in the top left corner here. You can click on that and you see it actually magnifies it. You can drag it down and I'm gonna put it right there on my head. The next thing I can do is come over to the inspector and we have this little button right here called track forward. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna track my head as I cross the screen. All right, Resolve successfully tracked my head across the screen. You can see the little wavy line here where I was walking. And the next thing we wanna do is add in some text. So a few ways to do that again, you can click shift and spacebar again, type in text. And we wanna grab the text plus, and I'm gonna say add. So I found it puts in a merger for you, and I found that I didn't really need that for this to work, so I'm gonna just delete the merge, and I'm gonna come over and grab my text and just put it right into the tracker, and then I'm gonna connect the tracker back to the media out. I'm gonna click on the tractor, come back to the inspector, click on our second little tab here, which is the operation tab, and when you see operation here, you're gonna click on that and click match move because I want the text to match the movement of the tracker. Next, I'm gonna come over to the text and we're gonna type in some text here. I'm gonna just say text tracking. And let's say I just wanna put those on two lines. You can pick whatever font you want. In order to see my text, I'm gonna have my text node selected and I'm gonna click on the left-hand window here so I can see what it looks like. And I can adjust the size of it. You can make it bigger, smaller here with the different text tools. I'm gonna to say that I want it all aligned in the middle. And next I'm gonna play through the video and we can see the text is tracking, but it's not where I want it to be. Let's say I want it right above my head. So I'm gonna have my text node selected here and I can come over here, just click on this and drag it right above my head. I'd say it looks too big, so I'm gonna shrink it down, maybe move it up a little bit more. You can change the color of it here if you want and do all kinds of different things with it. Now, if I play the video, you see it tracks right above my head the entire time. So now we notice right in the beginning of the video and the end, it kind of sits there. The text just hangs out and waits for the tracker point to pick up on my head. So one way you can change that is come to the beginning of your clip. I'm gonna just move forward a little bit. Let's say I want the text to start right here. This is where I want it to appear. So this looks like it's around frame 245, let's say. So if I come to the global in and out, I bring this up to around 245. You can see the text disappear. So let's just call it 242. That's where I want it to come in. And the same towards the end of the clip. Let's say I want it to turn off. I want the text to disappear. If 
by the time I get to right here, which looks like it's about 335. So when we want to put it at 335, you want to make sure this last number is 335, not this number in the middle here. So I'm going to bring that back to around 335. There we go. Now I'm going to play the video and you'll see the text pop in where we want it to start and it should disappear when we don't want it there anymore. And there we go. So the text is tracking with my head as I walk, comes in when we want it to, and turns off when we want it to. And if you want to do any other cool things with your text, you can click the different options here. You can change the color, you can change the softness, the position, all kinds of fun uh, different things you can do here in uh, Resolve with the text. You can change colors, do whatever you want. Once you've selected all your options, you can go back to your Edit tab. And now when we play the video in our Edit tab, we should see all of the text changes that you might have added in the Fusion tab. I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. And if you're into photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, including DaVinci Resolve, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.